Dino parking is both the dumbest and the most unique idea for a parking simulation I've ever played in my life. It's unique for basically one reason, you're trying to park quote unquote a dinosaur, but it's dumb for a lot of different reasons. Ironically, it's also dumb because you're trying to park a dinosaur. See, parking games are all about driving a car through obstacles and trying to line the car up with a parking space. That's how these type of action puzzle games work. When you're walking, it's all completely different. It's so much easier to make sharp turns when you're just walking because you can stop abruptly. It's not a dinosaur on wheels. If you basically stop the dinosaur at every turn, this game is as easy as cake. It's literally just like walking through a hallway. Because that's what it is. It's not a parking simulation, it's a walking simulation. Another reason this game is dumb is because when you play a dinosaur game, the last thing you want to do is just walk around. When I play as a dinosaur, I want to cause havoc, I want to be eating people, I want tanks to be shooting at me. It's like if someone made a game where there's a guy who has this automatic rifle but it's a free-running game that doesn't utilize the gun. The gun is just aesthetically part of his character. I'm a giant monster with big sharp teeth. Let me stomp and kill something, game. Furthermore, much like most of the other parking games, when you touch something, it's game over and you have to restart from the beginning of that level. Which makes sense for a parking game if you're parking a car because you know you cause a little fender bender it doesn't make sense when you're walking as a dinosaur because there's no reason a dinosaur loses a life or has to restart something because he brushed up against some kind of wall it's a dinosaur a baby can touch a fence or a post without getting hurt apparently a giant t-rex can't this is a t-rex made out of paper mache and boogers. This part of the gameplay is also kind of broken because while you can't touch things with the front of the dinosaur, because the dinosaur is so long and he has that giant tail, he's constantly touching every other thing with his butt and tail. Look at me just swinging right through this fence and the game's like, ah, eh, whatever, it's just your tail touching. You can't touch it with the front of your mouth. That's what's important. You can play this game both on the computer with the WASD keys or download it from the Play Store and play it on your smartphone. And while it runs smooth on the PC, when I tried to play it on my smartphone, it was very choppy. In the title screen, the actual gameplay just wouldn't start, it was just stuck on load. This is obviously not the worst game I've ever played, in fact, it's barely an awful game. This one kinda teeters on the line between awful and forgettable, but I think the pendulum does kinda sway a little more towards that awful spectrum, and that's why it gets an official Stan Birdman rating of a 3.9 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, my friends.